My name is Tanya Zellner, and I'm the Executive Director at Rainbow House Children Resource Center located in Warner Robins, Georgia. In 1981, a group of community leaders were looking for ways to help with the growing number of child abuse cases, so they visited the National CAC in Huntsville, Alabama. This was the start of something wonderful for Houston County and also the state of Georgia. On April 1, 1986, Rainbow House opened as the first child advocacy center in the state of Georgia. Today, there are 46. Our mission at Rainbow House is to serve all children by strengthening our community's response to child abuse and neglect through prevention, intervention, and advocacy efforts. Rainbow House is a 501c3 nonprofit agency that is funded by grants, community donations, and fundraisers. All of the services offered at Rainbow House are free. Rainbow House is governed by Board of Directors and has a staff of 15 members. Primary prevention programs are available. Rainbow House is the official Prevent Child Abuse Georgia Council for Houston County. Under prevention program, we offer parent support classes such as 123 Magic, Effective Discipline for Children. We also teach mandate reporter training to the community, which educates participants about the laws around mandated reporting. We are also the local agency that oversees and offers first books to the Houston County community in partnership with the First Foundation for Childhood Literacy. Participants in the first book programs receive one free book per month. The program is for children ages zero to five and its goal is to prepare preschool aged children for school by increasing literacy skills. Rainbow House offers Healthy Families Houston County. Healthy Families Houston County is a new program here at Rainbow House. We're currently an affiliate of Healthy Families America, a nationwide evidence-based structure that launched a little over 25 years ago. We started our program here in Houston County in October 2015. We have four home visitors, Kim, Blair, Shay, and Sharon, and our First Steps coordinator, Jennifer. We provide support services for prenatal moms and mothers of newborns until their child turns three years old. Healthy Families Houston County is currently on the books to becoming an accredited program through Healthy Families America. Once that process is complete, we will be the sixth program in Georgia to be an accredited program. Our program is the second home visiting program in the county, but it is the only program that focuses on building a positive parent-child relationship with an emphasis on the social-emotional well-being of a child and the family unit. We're grounded in the theoretical belief that if a child has that positive nurturing support from the home life from the beginning, then they're going to live a healthy and balanced life throughout. We have three key principles that make this program stand out. We're trauma informed, we focus on relationship building, and we pay close attention to mindfulness and self-care. Our home visitors provide support and information to our families that can give them a 360 degree view on who they are, what strengths they hold, and how they want to love their child and the person they hope to become. We provide tools that help parents understand their child developmentally, physically, emotionally, and verbally. Healthy Families Houston County is a wonderful program and I hope that we're around for a very long time to serve our community. First Steps is also available as part of the prevention programming. First Steps Rainbow House provides a one-stop shop for awareness regarding community resources that support both expectant parents and parents of children who are five and under. We give educational materials and referrals to the families we meet based on their personal and family needs. Thanks to our partnership with Houston Medical Center, the majority of the families we serve come from the postpartum floor. We also go out into the community and meet families at health fairs and other events such as lap sits at our local libraries. Another partnership we have in the community is with our County Head Start Centers. Our information is given to families in a neatly put together parent packet based on their child's age. The packet provides resources and information about maternal health, newborn child health, home and child safety, community and family safety, school readiness, and family economics and self-sufficiency. Also included in the folder is a community resource guide that we make sure is kept up to date. We also provide follow-up calls when necessary to check in on families and see if they have any additional needs that First Steps can provide. 
Rainbow House has a Child Advocacy Center. The Child Advocacy Center program is the intervention and advocacy component of the Rainbow House Children's Resource Center. The Child Advocacy Center offers a child-friendly, neutral setting for the video recording of the forensic interview. We have contracted forensic interviewers who are specially trained to gather the information from the child in a non-threatening and non-leading manner. We also offer on-site therapeutic services during non-traditional hours to enhance the healing process and crisis coordination from the beginning of contact with the child victim and the non-offending caregiver. The Child Advocacy Center program participates on the Houston County Child Abuse Prevention and Fatality Review Protocol Committee and the Houston County Child Abuse Prevention Multidisciplinary Team. The multidisciplinary team meets bi-monthly to review all our cases and to ensure that no case falls through the cracks. The Child Advocacy Center program exists to offer services when prevention strategies have been permeated and intervention is in order. Intervention is the first priority of the Child Advocacy Center program because we understand the significance of stopping the pain as soon as possible. More importantly, we want the healing and recovery process to begin immediately. When elements in the life of a child become unsettled or turbulent, all responsible adults in the child's life should be willing to step in and step up to make a difference. This difference requires recognition that all, ch all children are precious and deserve to be protected from anything and anyone and any act that could be harmful to them. Turbulence in the elements often change a child's life forever. However, with proper intervention and support, a child will heal and the painful experience can become just a bad memory that a child overcomes. A quote to remember from a French philosopher reads, even a minor event in the life of a child is an event in that child's world and thus is a world event. A special thanks to the staff at Rainbow House for the work they do each day. Thanks to our board of directors for their governance and guidance. A special thanks to all that support Rainbow House. We could not do this without you.